Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to trade commodities on Think or Swim in 2024. So today, let's explore how to trade commodities, of course, using Think or Swim platform. Think or Swim, first of all, offered by TD Ameritrade, provides traders uh, with access, of course, to various markets, including commodities like gold, silver, oil, gas, and even more. So join me as we navigate through the steps of trading commodities. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open your account with your TD Ameritrade. To do so, go and open whatever browser you have. For me here, I'm using Brave. Of course, for you, you can use any browser that you could possibly have. Then go to this URL section. Of course, you can type either Ameritrade or Think or Swim. So, as an example, if we type think or swim will be taken here of course to Schwab uh, which will take us to TD Ameritrade of course but if you want to type like TD Ameritrade as an example it will take you basically to the same place so of course here as an example if you go and click on the first link which is think or swim desktop or even here so you'll be taken to the same steps as an example here they'll take you of course to the short swap as you can see if you are a TD Ameritrade client if your account hasn't moved to swap yet think or swim desktop can be accessed at a TD Ameritrade so as you can see uh, like it was think or swim it was at swap but it's uh, been moved to uh, or sorry it was it was at TD Ameritrade but it seems like it's uh, swapped or moved to swap right now so basically, of course, you'll have to go and basically just log in into your accounts, either whatever it is. Basically, of course, normally it seems like it's on to the uh, on Charles Schwab at the moment. So basically, you have to log in as an example to download uh, first of all the platform, which is Think or Swim Desktop, to start, of course, uh, or to have access to the commodities markets on Think Swim. You'll need to download, of course, their websites. And of course, to do so, you'll need to log in into your account. So make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create a new one. As simple as that. If you're a new user, for example, click on new user here and start creating your account. Of course, you'll need to confirm your identity and create your login info and choose your login security preferences. So click on start and follow the steps. As you can see, it will take about five minutes. So of finish all those steps as example and then you will have your account ready to use so for me i don't have an account at the moment so i'll just go and ask some articles to show you how to trade it exactly but it's actually very simple to trade like commodities you will have just to go to their platform access the commodities market uh, conduct some research about the commodities that you want to enter and start trading it's actually very very simple so an example i'm just go here open a new tab and simply i'll type trade commodities so commodities on think or swim so think or swim in here and simply just go okay there's some videos here i'll just go and open that and that and even click on this video to show you just the platform so as an example in here so how to use future trader of course which is like uh, includes uh, commodities on it on desktop so learn how to trade futures using uh, the futures trader tab think or swim so as you can see it seems like there's a video in here of course i'll not show you the video because of copyright uh, copyright options so basically the platform will be like that this is going to be your platform so of course here as you can see you have different type of things you will need to get used to that of course you can keep using it before like start trading or just click on everything of course and try uh, things out to get used to all the options that they have and then as an example uh, first of all you have to fund your account of course if you don't have any funds your into your account to start trading and then once you access this interface of course you will have or before initiating any trades conduct some research on the commodities that you are interested in you'll have to analyze factors such as apply uh, supply and demand dynamics uh, geopolitical events economic indicators and co any the commodity price trends also and this research will help you make informed trading decisions because like like uh, trading commodities or in trading in general is not like or gambling gambling is not good for you it's uh, of course you will need like like any other thing in this world but it's actually require a lot of skills that you can acquire of course from uh, youtube videos uh, you can listen to people who are advanced on this and of course get some experience from them or just gets used to it through articles uh, research do your own research it will actually give you a lot of experience that you'll need through trading 
So don't gamble your money and hope the price will go up so you can get profits. You will definitely lose. Of course, you can make uh, profits, but you will definitely lose at some point. So as you said, of course, once you do your own research, now it's time to, after you conduct in your research, it's time to place your commodity trade on the Think or Swim platform. You can select the commodity that you want to trade and enter the quantity, review the currency price or the current price, and choose your order type. It's a market or limit example. Let me just go and see in here is he showing how example of course you will have to choose like the commodity that you want click on trade and start of course trading of course if you want to like watch the whole video as we said you can access this uh, link as you can see schwab.com uh, slash learn slash story slash how to use futures trade on therical swim or just type at this how to trade futures uh, or sorry commodities on think or swim and you'll find this uh, link there as you saw in this video of course here as you can see they're just showing you it seems like the commodities that's available like the oil and gold and things so we don't care about that let's just watch this video also of course i'm not going to play the video for copyright issues as we said before so intro gets started so of course this is going to be uh, like uh, the platform of think or swim as we said before of course you'll have to go to trade look for the commodities that you want and you'll be able to buy or sell as we said before and of course here you'll be able to uh, order to make your orders and uh, of course once you place your trade or your trade is executed you'll be able to monitor your commodities trade and you can keep track of commodities price and, and markets news and any events that may impact the commodities market and of course think or something provides real-time market data and order status for you to uh, of course to help you stay informed about your commodity that you're buying or you're trying to sell and as your commodities trade progresses you can consider implementing some risk management strategies and set some stop loss orders or limit potential losses and take profit orders to log and profits if the market moves in your favor so when you are ready of course to after that exit your commodity trade you can use the think or swim platform also to close your uh, order so it seems like here just showing you how uh, for the order view how you can see it and of course you'll be able to click on review you'll be able to sell it then you'll be able to close it if you want and you will be good to go so there you have it you successfully understand how to buy or trade commodities on think or swim platform in 2024 remember to stay informed practice risk management and continuously monitor the market's conditions and do not forget to do your research so if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.